Hello guys, my name is Armin. In today's episode, Learning Revit, I want to talk about a very important content. I want to talk about the difference between the 3D modeling versus 2D detailing. Um, you probably seen it or heard about it that all the drawings coming from the Revit model, but not all. Uh, because most of the consultant, when they create a, a sketch or they create a lot of detail, they just use it in a specific view and they're using the 2D detailing in the Revit model and does not show up as a 3D content. That's why the contract drawings or the actual sheets are the main source for modeling, not the background or the architectural models. That's why everybody refers to the contract drawing instead of the model, and they're just using the model as a reference. So I want to show you this difference in this video, help you a little bit understanding of what is the difference between these two and why it doesn't show up in the 3D model. Well, without further ado, let's jump into Revit. And if you like the content, please make sure to subscribe and leave a like. In today's episode, I want to explain the difference between the 3D model and the content that you can get for your coordination versus the 2D details that you see on the drawings. Uh, they all come from the model, as you guys know, architect or consultant creating their sheets in the Revit model, but they're not modeling every single item in 3D. Most of the time when you see a detail or a sketch or anything that coming to you via our file or an agenda, it might be just a, a quick 2D using the annotation in the 3D model, but it's not modeled as a 3D component. And as you guys know, most of the architect, they basically model at LOD 250 or 200. So basically just they want to convey the design, but they're not going into all the nuts and bolts of all the uh, details, all the, you know, like a fine uh, connection between the steel and mostly happening when you have the walls and the exterior walls with the mullions and much more. That's going to be one of the instances that I remember, but mostly is happening when you see a large, a very fine detail, they're not going to do that in 3D content. So uh, let's just get into this. I want to explain a little bit more so you guys know what I'm talking about. So this is a simple, um, basically just a floor plan. Let's just go to one of the cross section. Um, just one quick note here. So most of the time people click on this section like this that I'm doing right now and it doesn't go, but you can right click and say go to view, basically take you uh, to the exact view. So what I'm going to do, let me change uh, the actual final a little bit for you so you guys can see. Let me just make it shaded, go to find details. So let's say you guys have a detail on the sheets uh, that basically there's going to be installation of these exterior wall and they're going to put the break wall right here. So the way that they can use it, they're using the annotation, which is going to be the 2D and it's going to be the view specific. Uh, what do I mean by that is when you make a change here, you won't be able to see that in 3D view. I'll also show you what I'm talking about. So right now, let's just go to annotation tab. Uh, you see the component right here. We go to the repeating detail component. Uh, we have a break wall, but before that, let me just put some installation here. So let's say, we have uh, a little installation that goes right here all the way up. And after that, we can go to repeating details. Yeah, well, we have like the repeating detail break. It's fine. I'll just put the break right here all the way up. And most of the time, and you can see a little bit of that here just a bit. So let's say we have the installation, and right now you ask for okay, I need the waterproofing here, I need something. This is exterior wall. Um, I can see all of these planners and everything behind it. 
and they come back with a sketch like this, right? So you can see a sketch with some colored annotation explaining, this is gonna be the thickness type of the installation, this is gonna be the break wall. So this is how they created and sent it to you. So let's just go to 3D view real quick. Uh, let me make it side by side. Uh, should be somewhere around this area. Let's see where we are. Okay, so uh, you guys can see right now, we have one model, even though we have many views that can be open. If the 3D models, uh, in, in basically the profit model, you can see it in all the views if you have a 3D component. But if you have a 2D, you won't be able to see it. So you guys can see I highlighted this on my 2D. I know what it is on the 3D view. Uh, let's just double check here. So if I click that one, you can see basically the wall. So in the 2D right here, I added this break and an installation. And you guys can see there is nothing over here on this wall. So if I highlight this wall, it's basically highlighting that wall for me at this area, not the actual. You see, like I'm still clicking on this, there is nothing get highlighted over here. And I won't be able to kind of see exactly what it is. Let me just show it on the top as well. So this is, again, this is the area that we are here. This is the planner that is over there. So I get closer, they only have this wall, right? So this wall basically, uh, select this. Yeah, you can see I can select all of this. But if I select this on this view, you won't be able to see anything over here. So the purpose that I'm trying to explain this to you guys is anything that you guys see on the documents, it might not be model. That's why the documents are the main source for the coordination and the modeling. So none of the subs or the detailer can go and just use the background model, architectural model or whatnot and say, I'm modeling based on that. No, their reference resource would be the drawings. And you can use this as a background, a QC check for some of the areas. You can get the grids and whatnot, but exactly these are the type of detail that you might miss if you are not using the drawing and go to the 2D. So, um this is basically what i wanted to show that if anybody or if you guys want to create a specific detail a 2d detail for a specific view um you need to go to the annotation tab so anything in the annotation tab is basically view specific so you won't be able to see it in all the models so it's going to be in that view in that section and that's gonna stay over there if I save the rabbit, and that's gonna be the location for me. I can some annotation and color on it and send it as a sketch to respond to an RFI. But you do not see that because it's not modeled as a 3D properties or a 3D content. Um, hope that you guys um, enjoyed today's video. I wanted to share this little tip with you. I've heard a lot of comments uh, coming from uh, different people that I work with on the job that I just wanted to clarify there's a difference between 3D model and 2D detail and why you're referencing to the drawings to model. If you guys find this video uh, interesting, please make sure to subscribe and leave a like. And I want to hear your comments. I want to hear what you guys uh, facing on the jobs. Have you ever noticed this? Um, how are you guys handling it on the job? Please put it on the comments so you can talk about it in your future videos. Thank you guys for watching this video. See you guys in the next one. Mm -hmm.